Hi there, welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations where you get easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. Today we're going to do a super easy and adorable Barbie design on the forehead and on the arm as well. But not just that, we're also going to show you how we make special custom bling for this particular design. If you are new, then you're going to find out that we do face paint designs on the face and also on the practice board. You can also check out our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations for the step by steps along with the supplies used, but I'll also be showing that here as well. Before we get started, I would like to mention that we'll be using Ooh stencils along with one of Fusion's newer palettes. This one is called Leanne's Princess Palette. And if you don't have it, you can obviously use similar colors to follow along. But this is the palette that we are using. And we're using several different split cakes that we will demonstrate as the tutorial goes along. One thing that I found absolutely amazing is this Kamboki brush by Ooh Stencil as well, because when you use a sponge or a finger dabber, you can really only use them once per face, per color, right? But with this brush, if you're doing smaller detailed stencils, this is like a brush and sponge in one. And the best thing is about these is that you can clean it right after and reuse it compared to a sponge. This has been a game changer. I just started using these and I really honestly highly recommend. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we are going to be using today. First, with a petal sponge loaded in any rainbow cake, you're going to start off with the eyes, creating a beautiful eyeshadow. This makes a really big difference with any of your princess designs. Girls love it, parents love it, and it looks absolutely stunning. Also, with a petal sponge, you're able to get inside of the creases of the eye versus a regular sponge. Now, this step is optional about wiping the under eye. You can, doesn't matter. But next, with a three quarter inch brush loaded in a pink and purple split cake, you're gonna do the centerpiece. One little bump, one big bump, another little bump, and then fill it in with that same shade on the inside with a sponge or even with a brush. Now with that same brush, that three quarter inch brush, we're going to load it in with a yellow and pink type of colors for the outside of the centerpiece of the crown. And these are kind of like butterfly wings. They're very thin, they're very elegant, and it nicely shapes the eyebrows. Now with that same split kick used for the center, you're going to bring it from the eyebrow to right to the corner of the eye, not any lower, the corner of the eye, right where that winged eyeliner is. Then with the Kamboki stencil brush, we're going to use that for the stencil. And this is a Barbie stencil prototype, but the actual one is on the supply sheet that you saw a little bit earlier. You're going to do the Barbie in the middle and then hearts on the side. Two small hearts near the face and then one big heart near the hair. This brush seriously is a game changer, but you have to make sure that the brush is decently dry. If it's wet, you're going to get a very mushy design and that's the same thing with sponges as well. Then with the number two brush, let it in white, do some teardrops right in the eye area to give it a nice shape. Outline the two petals that you did on the side. And then with a number four Mark Reed loaded in white, do three teardrops going down up right towards the eyebrow. The Mark Reed brush makes the best dots on the planet, but with any brush, you wanna make sure there's a lot of paint on it to create good dots. That is the secret. You want to overload almost your brush. So you can put dots there and also under the eye as well. And you definitely cannot forget to highlight the Barbie just a little bit so it makes it stand out just that much more. Now we're going to add some beautiful watermelon vivid glitter, which is a beautiful shape of pink. And then lastly, add the amazing Barbie gem right to the center of your design. That is it, it is so easy. And you can do this for any type of style or any kind of theme event. It doesn't have to be Barbie, but now we're going to do the exact same design on the practice board.
to do the Barbie design on the arm using a castle stencil. Grab your castle stencil and the Kamboki stencil brush to go ahead and start off with that. Again, you do want to make sure that your brush is dry. And with the rainbow cake loaded with a three quarter inch brush, you're going to do that beautiful rainbow coming down and then a yellow brick road, but it, instead of yellow, it's purple and pink going from small to big as it gets closer to the hand. Then with a number four brush loaded in white, you're going to add some beautiful teardrops and swirls. I do have a tutorial right here on YouTube that will teach you how to do that step by step so you can get really really good because it is a foundation when you are just becoming a face painter now with the little zigzags on the yellow brick road that's where you're going to add all of your swirls as you can see it right here and then add some teardrops in the naked areas where you think you might need it this step is optional you don't have to do this but teardrops and swirls really just look amazing on almost any design that you do Add some dots and then with a little bit of gold on your finger, kind of rub it in in the castle design to make it stand out. And then last with a number two brush lettered in white, just add a little bit of highlights to your castle because it does make a difference. It does make it pop. And if you have the time, please, please, please add highlights to your design just as you see it here. And it's so easy to do, but you need to be confident with your teardrops and swirls. And I will link that video in the description box below. Lastly, I am adding some awesome starburst stars that are kind of like teardrops, but backwards. And I liked how it looked, but I wanted to add it just like two more lines to each one of the stars just to make them look a little bit more enchanting, a little bit more magical. Lastly, we're gonna show you how to make a beautiful Barbie gem that is perfect for this design. Here are the supplies we're going to be using. It's pretty easy. You just gotta watch this to make sure that you get it right. So first we are using Tulip Puff Paint Glitter Diamond. That's the color. And we're gonna add it right in the center of the beautiful gem at the bottom and at both corners as well. This is one of many ways to create gems. And this one, what's nice about this like nice framework, literally a framework, uh, it kind of helps you place the gems without too much guesswork. So as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of glue, like a little dollop of glue where I'm going to place all of the gems. And then here I am demonstrating the gems I'm using, a rose, some kind of pink, pearly gems, and then two regular tiny shiny gems. To make this super easy, you're going to need a jewel setter. It, this is magical. Like you cannot do with your fingers. It is not that great to use tweezers, but this jewel setter, I'm telling you, it's a real game changer. And then you're going to add the gems right on the glue. This glue dries clear, even though it looks white right now. And look at that, it's so amazing. It takes about two days to dry. Okay, keep that in mind. And then once that is done, you're going to add some medical tape on the back of it. There are those that just kind of add glue on the job and stick on the gem. But I found medical tape to stick on a lot better than like your body glue. And so while it is an extra step, it is one that I personally prefer. So you're going to grab your mini sewing scissors to really get in the crevices of cutting up this gem. And then you can pull off that paper when you're on the job and you can see like a kind of nice shiny stickiness that is going to stick on the face and it usually lasts the whole day. If you enjoyed today's class, please make sure to like it to let us know that you enjoyed the tutorial along with subscribing if you haven't already. We post easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials and you do not want to miss any of the videos that we post right here on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations where we post our step-by-steps and supplies used. Also take a look at our TikTok where we tell true stories of what it's like being a face painter. That is it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.